it's Sally and in this video I'm going to show you how to create a recurring event or task in Outlook. Uh, it's 2016. So I have my calendar open here and the first thing to take into consideration is do you need to create an event on a calendar or would it make more sense to create a task? So you would probably use calendars for uh, for meetings that happen on a regular basis or um, things you need to do that, where you need to block out some time. So maybe if you need to spend half a day um, reconciling the month's expenses, that might be something that you would want to put on a calendar. However, if it's something where you just need a reminder each month. Maybe you need a reminder to email your team to submit something. That might make more sense being a task, which is down here. But I'll start off with the calendar. So I've clicked on here to view my calendar. And I'll go up to create a new appointment. And so what you'll want to do here you can put all your information in here. If you need to invite people, you can do that. Now to make it recurring, click on this recurrence box here. So you can set the start and end time, how long it's going to last. Uh, and then should it happen daily, weekly, monthly, yearly? Uh, something, so the reason I was doing this is to set up a reminder to uh, work on my expense report. So I want a reminder um, the last day of every month. So I'll click on monthly and you can either select a specific day or you can click here and select maybe I want the last just the last uh, the last day of every month. I want it to start this month and I can set an end date so um, maybe I want to I'm just gonna leave it at no end date so from 8 a.m. to 8 30 so 30 minutes on the last day of every month I'm gonna I'm gonna do that so I'll click on OK so I'm just gonna type expense report so this is just me blocking off half an hour to go over my expense report on the last day of every month. I don't need to invite anybody. I don't need to add a location. But if I did, I could enter it here. Um, and then I could put any details down here if I wanted. And I'm just going to set this at tentative. Because I don't want people to, you know, I can always reschedule this for a different time on the last day of the month. Um, so I don't want to block out this area so people won't schedule appointments with me. So if everything is good, so it occurs the last day of every month uh, starting at the end of this month from 8 a.m. to 8.30. So once that's good, I can click on save and close and it will pop up on my calendar there. So now if you want to have a recurring task, just maybe a reminder, you click here on this tasks icon and you do the same thing, you click on new task, you can enter the subject here, you can set your start date, uh, and then again go up here to recurrence, so maybe if you wanted a weekly reminder of something, you can set that up. Uh, you'd probably want it to regenerate a new task if, if you want to mark it complete each week as you complete it. Uh, again you can set it for daily, weekly, monthly or yearly and then you can set when it starts and when it ends maybe you only want it to remind you of this uh, through the summer or whenever so you can go ahead and set that and then save the event and you'll have your task that pops up every month so I hope this was helpful. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Uh, let me know any feedback in the comments. I do read them. And have a great day. Thanks so much for tuning in.